In this video, we will look at the Moodle forum and how to add one to your course. There are several types of forum available as well as the special news forum. The news forum is added automatically to every course. Only editing teachers can post to the news forum. This is where general news and announcements will be posted and by default has full subscription, which means all users in the course receive a notification when a new post is made. Notice as a student, there is no button to add a new topic and no reply link when viewing a post. A single simple discussion is a forum where the teacher begins a single focused topic. Discussion occurs by replying to this initial topic. Because there is only one topic in this forum, a single simple discussion is not compatible with group mode. A standard forum for general use is an open forum where anyone can start a new topic at any time and can reply to any other post. Discussion topics are displayed in a table with the subject, who started it, how many replies it's had and when the last post was made. A standard forum displayed in a blog-like format is another open forum where anyone can start a new topic at any time and can reply to other posts. A snippet of each topic is displayed in the forum's main page instead of the normal table. Users need to click discuss this topic to view the full post and to reply. A forum where each person posts one discussion is just that. Each user, including the teacher, has the ability to post one new discussion topic. Once the user has posted their topic, in this case an introduction, they lose the ability to add a new topic. Remember, however, anyone can reply to other posts, including their own. A Q&A forum, or question and answer forum, uses the discussion topic as a posed question. With this type of forum, students must reply with their own answer and wait for the editing time to pass before seeing other students' replies. Once the editing time has passed, the student will be able to see other replies. When a teacher views a Q&A forum, they can always see all replies. Let's add a forum. To add any resource or activity, we need to turn editing on. Click the Add an Activity or Resource link in the section you would like the forum to display. Select Forum from the Activity Chooser. Then click Add. Provide a name for your forum. The name appears as a link on the main course page. This is the link students click to enter the forum. Add instructions for your students in the description field. You can choose to display the description on the course page along with the name by checking the box Display Description on Course Page. Choose the forum type from the drop down provided. Remember if you're unsure of any of these types, Click the question mark to learn more. In the attachments and word count section, you can specify the maximum size per attachment and the number of attachments each post can have. It is possible to display the word count on each post. To do this, choose yes for display word count. In the subscription and tracking section, you can configure the subscription mode and determine if any unread posts are highlighted. Subscription mode options are optional, which is where a user can choose whether to be subscribed via a link in the settings menu for the forum or when posting to that forum. Forced subscription, where students are forced to receive notification and cannot unsubscribe. Auto subscription, where everyone is initially subscribed but may choose to unsubscribe at any time via the link in the settings menu for the forum or when posting to it and subscription disabled, when nobody can subscribe to receive notifications of new posts. Read tracking options are optional, where a user can turn tracking on or off for that forum via a link in the settings menu, or their forum tracking profile preference decides. Off, where unread posts will never be highlighted and a link is not provided in the settings menu. And forced, if enabled by your administrator. This is where tracking of unread posts is always highlighted 
regardless of a user's profile option, and no link is added to the settings menu for that forum. If RSS feeds are enabled on your site, the RSS section allows you to configure what is sent in an RSS feed, discussion topics, or posts. You can also choose how many recent articles appear in the feed. The post threshold for blocking section allows you to configure a limit on posting for users. You can choose the time period for blocking and then set how many posts they are allowed to make and when they will receive a warning. In this example, users can only post five times within a week and will be warned after two posts. In the grade section, you can choose a grade category if required. The ratings section allows you to configure if forum posts can be graded. The aggregate type determines what score is sent to the grade book. The scale determines what each post may be marked out of. You can use a scale if you've set one up for your course. In this example, each post may be graded out of 10 points and the average will be sent to the grade book. You may also restrict ratings to within certain dates. The common module settings allow you to choose if the activity is shown or hidden when saved, has a field for you to add an ID which is used within the gradebook, and allows you to choose the group mode, if any, for the activity. Remember group mode makes a big difference in a forum. If you're not sure, click the question mark for help. The restrict access and activity completion sections allow you to configure if some users shouldn't be able to see the activity and how completion is calculated if enabled. Don't forget to save changes. The forum is now displayed and topics can be added.